Hello, children. How are you doing? Today, I am going to sing a nice song for you. So, here we go. I love my garden with all plants in it. I love my garden with all plants in it. With the herb, shrub, wine and grasses in it. I take care of them and help them grow. I love my garden with all plants in it. So children, today I would like to show you my lovely garden. Wow! With all different types of plants. Yes children, so today we are going to know about different types of plants. Shrubs, herbs, vines and grasses. So let's have a look. Wow! Children, in my garden, we can see small plants. But when you go out, we see big trees like coconut tree, banyan tree and many other. Children, do you know yesterday teacher was little tired in the evening and my mama, she made a nice tea for me. And when I had that tea, I was feeling so fresh and it had a very good taste. And when I asked my mama, what did she add into the tea? You know, what did she say? She said she added some tulsi leaves. Wow, children, look. This is a tulsi, tulsi plant. It is a herb plant. And look, I'm going to show you one more herb plant. Ah, look, look, children. Wow. Look, these are mint leaves. And you know, Mama used this in cooking. When she wants to make a mint chutney, she can make with this mint lips leaves. This is also a herb. And now let's talk about shrubs. Now, children, before shrubs, let me tell you about herb. Herbs are non-woody flowering plants. Herbs are quite small in size, which I just showed you. They are usually used in cooking and for making medicines and cosmetics. They can be grown in pots as well as in the ground. And now look, wow! This is a lovely flower. Oh, here also I can see the lovely flowers. Children, can you identify which flower is this? Yes, it is a rose flower. And this is a shrub. Shrub is between trees and herbs. A shrub is much shorter and they have a, look, look, a short stem. Wow. Children, no, this is also a shrub. But can you guess which flower bud is this? Look. Oh, let me tell you. These are the buds of shoe flower. And look, so many buds have grown. Wow. And you know, children, tomorrow morning, you will see all these buds are blooming into a shoe flower. Oh, look, children. It is something different. It looks as it, as if it is climbing up. Now, teacher would like to show you some other plants. Come on, children, tell me which plant is this? Yes, this is a money plant. Wines are those plants that need a solid support for their growth. They do not have a strong stiff stem that will bear their weight. These are 
curled structures that twirl around and firmly hold on to a solid vertical support and help the plant to grow. Now, children, tell me, have you seen grass during rains? We see it a lot. Yes. So while you go to the garden, you see it. Uh, now tell me, have you ever tried walking barefoot on grass? Yes, teacher tried it. And it feels so soft to walk on the grass. Children, do you know grasses completely lack stems? They can grow everywhere and can adapt to all kinds of habitats. Grasses can be very short, as in case of turts, or very tall, as in case of food crops. So, children, today we learned so many different types of plants, like trees, herbs, shrubs, vines, and grasses. Children, it's time for you to answer teacher. Now, teacher is going to ask you, is tulsi a herb or shrub? Correct. Tulsi is a herb plant. Now, let me ask you the next question. Which plant is a shrub? Come on, children. Teacher had showed you. Yes. Rose plant. Very good. And Shoe plow. Wonderful. Now, my next question is, which plant needs a solid support? Come on. Yes, vines. Very good. Now, which plants are found in all kinds of, all kinds of habitats? Yes, grasses. Wonderful, children. Wonderful. So, a big round of applause for my children. Very good. And now children, it's time for teacher to say goodbye. <clears throat> goodbye children, goodbye children. See you next time. See you next time. Goodbye children, goodbye children. See you next time. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>